we've all come across goalies like this. As soon as the puck enters their zone, they drop down to their butterfly and sit there until the puck leaves their end. We call these goalies butterfly sitters, and butterfly sitters are bad. They're trying to trick bad players into taking unnecessary shots. By sitting in their butterfly, they make the opposing players think the top part of the net is open. But this is not the case for EA NHL. They are going to save that pretty much 100% of the time. There is another variation of this type of goalie, and they're called the middle sitter. Sometimes they sit in their butterfly too, and other times they stand up. But either way, they refuse to hug the post or leave the middle of the net. I'm going to teach you how to beat these goalies and explain why it's a bad play style. When you drop down into butterfly, you commit yourself to that spot on the ice. It takes longer for you to move side to side, and once you do move, it's hard to move back quickly. So you guys are going to need to take advantage of that. And once again, do not just shoot from the slot if they're centered in their net down in the butterfly, because the top part of the net is not open. So here are the top ways to beat them in the plays that are most effective against them. The first one, any play that's against the grain. What I mean by that is skating one way and passing in the opposite direction. This mostly applies to one-timers, but can also apply to shots from far away as well. These plays are ideal because butterfly goalies are often guessing a lot and it's natural for them to follow the shooter. Once they move with the skater and the pass is made, they'll be out to lunch. Number two, any quick passing play in tight is going to beat them. Once again, if a team is playing good defense, this will be tough. But since they are in the butterfly, they are slower moving, they won't be able to react as quickly as if they are standing up. As long as they don't cheat, this should be an easy goal. Number three, shoot low for rebounds and for tips. For the love of God, do not shoot high if they're centered in their net. Again, it will be an easy save. They want you to shoot high. Don't do it. They are trying to bait you to take a shot rather than making a passing play. By shooting low, you're going to generate a rebound, and this year, those are hard to stop no matter what style of goalie you play. So a rebound is always a good shot. Also, tips work great against these goalies because they do just sit in the middle of the net when the puck is at the point. To save a tip this year, you need to be a little bit squared up to the shot and a little bit squared up to the person tipping the puck. Number four, attack from the sides of the net and even shoot from the goal line, preferably on their blocker side. Note that the glove side is a little bit overpowered in this game. So if you're going to shoot from the goal line, make sure it's blocker side. It still works glove side sometimes when you take a wrist shot, but blocker side is almost 100% a goal. This only applies to those goalies who do not hug the post when the puck is in the corner. Once a butterfly goalie hugs the post, you are free to abuse them as you normally would any other goalie. Far side if they still stay on the post when you cut to the middle, one-timers, and short side even if they like to fly off the post a little bit early. The last one is one-timers from the point. They seem to work well depending on the type of butterfly goalie you are facing, but they aren't quite as effective. Once again, keep them low to mid-height and you should sneak a few past them. This play style is only effective against bad players, which is why I hate it so much. Once you reach a high level of competition, good players are going to destroy you if they know what they're doing. When you don't sit in your butterfly, you can get a better read on the play because you have more time to react on your feet. Also, this play style may not be very effective in future NHLs, so it's better to learn the right way now than have to do it when sitting in butterfly becomes obsolete. And once again, guys, don't just shoot at these goalies because they're sitting in their butterfly. Only shoot if there's an open net. If they're in butterfly, top cheese is not open, so stop shooting at them. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps you guys. I'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, nice low. F*** you, Crosby. Get out of your butterfly, you f***ing scumbag.